how sick can someone be to mutilate his mom, chop his mom's body up, and pose in a picture with her head under his arm like it's a trophy or something? If you don't want to hear me talk about this and, and give my expressions about this, the link will be in the description area below. You can click on that link and watch the news article about that, the, the news video, whatever. But this 23-year-old dude from New York, Chop this. I don't know if he killed her or not. He blaming it on his friend or whatever. But still, and honestly, he still chopped his mother's body up. Posed in the mirror, taking a picture with her head under his arm. Like he's doing something. Like he's going to put on Instagram or something. And, you know, I don't even know why he's going on trial. You know, insane or not, he needs to face the consequences. You know, um... They have the evidence of him taking a picture with his mother head under his armpit. He have they have surveillance of him and his friend taking bags back and forth, back and forth to the trash can, like big trash bags or whatever. And honestly, I'm I'm I just don't understand what could a mother do to deserve something like that. Honestly, you know, yes, um, you know, me and my mom we had arguments. But at the end of the day, we was always good. We was always, you know, back on the same note. At the end of the day, we still had that love for each other. And, you know, that what, what parents and, and, and kids do. They have arguments, you know. And But it's never just get that serious to where you want to kill your parents. You know, uh, I, I just lost my mother in November of last year. And I'm, I'm still recovering from that. I'm still getting over that. I'm still recovering and grieving from that. And, and to hear something like this of, of someone taking advantage of his mother's grace like this is pissing me off, dude. I don't even know why he's on trial. He really, I mean, he don't even need to face the death penalty. He needs to face life, you know, just to, to, to let that guilt eat him up, you know, because his little brother have to live in a world without his mother, you know. I don't care if your mother's a crackhead, heroin addict, or meth, whatever, homeless, whatever. You still love your mother at the end of the day. You know, you can say you don't, but when you're sitting there like I was with my mother on that deathbed, you know, uh, I'm real sure that she's going to be all right and that I'm going to be all right. And to, to see her, her final breath. That does something to you, honestly. And to 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 hear something like this, it it really pisses me off, you know. In the comments area below, let me know what you think about this story because you know I'm not even just gonna get deep into it, man. Because honestly, I can't, you know. Um, I still have nightmares about you know situations. I still have dreams and stuff. I'm still really getting over it. And to hear something like this, it pisses me off. You know, I just want 15 minutes in a room with this dude. Like honestly, I really do. You know, um, and you know, going to that big place, that big place that people are scared of. Um, he's gonna face a lot of people that lost their mothers and. He's going to face the consequences. But with that being said and done, this is Gamer Center 4360 signing out. Leave your thoughts in the comments area below. Peace.